hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel what you're seeing here is a complete and total disaster and nobody should be in this situation this is a no however if you find yourself in this situation watch on because i'm going to show you exactly how to color correct this hi once more my name is naninga welcome to my channel now this video is for educational purposes and i hope that you're going to get something from it i have been a victim of buying the wrong foundation shade because i do not have a physical store near my area and for the purposes of this video we are going to be using the revlon photo candid foundation in the shade 410 now 410 is a very very light shade i got the shade off the jumia website because that's where i normally buy my makeup from um i as i've said i do not live near a physical store and i know that there are a lot of people especially here in africa who do not live near physical stores so we are going to apply this um all over our face and then we are going to see the shocking results basically and how we can correct those shocking results you can remind you can imagine my horror when i realized that this foundation was this shade i was so hurt i was like no way they have to return my money but the cost of returning it was not worth it because it was actually bought on sale and yeah let's just blend this thoroughly before we start correcting this horror you can't walk around like this i've seen videos of people doing their wedding makeup like this and i don't understand why they would do that that is just insane so i'm going in again with a beauty blender just to make sure that i have an even surface just because it's the wrong foundation shade doesn't mean it has to look bad Now that I'm satisfied with that base, it's time to color correct. Now, how do you color correct a very light foundation shade? You use a contour. Now, I don't have a proper contour stick because clearly NYX did me dirty with this contour stick. But I'm just going to demonstrate to you how you're supposed to apply it. So take your normal contour. A contour is supposed to be three shades light darker. Sorry, sorry. Three shades darker than your normal skin tone. Three or two shades darker than your normal skin tone. This one is clearly too light for me. And this was the shade universal. So I'm really wondering what universal mean because clearly this is not universal for me. Um, so I'm just you're just supposed to apply your contour stick. In the areas that i'm applying but don't worry because this is the wrong shade i'm going to show you what to do because clearly you have to do something because this is not going to work yeah so i'm going to take my normal contour which is a powder contour and this is the makeup revolution contour in the shade mega oh this is the mega bronzer contour my voice is cracking as usual i normally edit my videos in the morning why 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 but anyway i'm going to take the shade uh dark this is the shade dark which is number four from the makeup revolution mega bronze uh, makeup revolution mega bronzer and this is the normal contour shade that i normally use so take your normal contour shade if you don't have a contour use a very dark foundation that is darker than your normal skin tone and apply it in the areas that i'm showing you so clearly that brush is not going to work for that area so we've changed brushes and then just basically apply where you're seeing me applying which is all around your nose um where i've marked yeah there also 
So after applying like that, we are going to blend all that in. And I'm telling you, it should color correct your makeup. Although there's a third step that we are still yet to do. So this is step number two, where you apply your contour. Make sure that your base is even. And then step number two, apply your contour shade properly, like serious contouring, like Kim K contouring. Then after you've done that, we are going to start blending. And I'm not going to blend all the contour at once because we haven't done our eyeshadow yet. I'm going to start off with the nose contour. So after blending the nose, I'm going to do my eyeshadow very, very fast. And then I'll come back and contour the rest of the face or basically blend the rest of the face. <laughs> So guys our nose is nicely blended and i've put on eyeshadow as you can see now it's time to blend the rest of the face and i'm going to use another brush um, to blend the rest of the face just ignore the eyelash glue that i put in excess um yeah i did put a, a excess eyelash glue so that's the white stuff you're seeing on my eyelashes so we just are going to thoroughly blend that contour thoroughly thoroughly and you're going to see that it's going to have a great great impact so for this makeup look no using concealer because we are assuming that the areas that you want to be light have already been applied the very light foundation so we are not going to use any concealer in this makeup look so we are just going to contour and then the areas that will remain without the contour are the areas that are actually supposed to be highlighted. So no problem with that. beginning to look normal there's just a couple of more one more step actually that i'm going to do but before i do that step i've just added some blush and then i'm going to do my lips also and then yeah that's the color that i'm using that's a revlon lipstick and a maybelline lifter gloss um yeah then this is the final step guys use a setting powder that is colored in short what do i mean by a colored setting powder there's some translucent setting powders that don't have any color in them but in this case you want to use a, a, a setting powder that is in your skin tone shade so apply it all over your face to set your face and then it will also like make the skin more even yeah just make sure that you use a setting powder in the color of your face or in the shade of your face or neck or whichever yeah so guys we are going to be shocked with the results because finally we have beat the system anyway guys basically we have succeeded in making our uh our base look normal i'm just going to add in some black glitter on my eyeshadow because i just felt like i don't want that kind of plain eyeshadow and then i'm going to ha add a little bit of highlight and the highlight i'm using is the nyx high glass and this is our final look guys guess where we are from we are from here we are literally from here yeah but damn just tell me if this is not magic yeah but guys don't forget to subscribe and to like and to share and to comment and thanks for watching have a fabulous day so